Hey guys, this is Sid, and today we're going to be talking about environment diagrams, specifically in the context of the make account problem. So at this point, I'm going to assume that you all have a basic working understanding of simple environment diagrams, such as for the factorial problem and the square root function, as well as a working understanding of scheme itself. So first, let's take a look at the problem. So we will be using the following code for make account. So make account basically creates a procedure object uh, that takes an input balance as shown here. And then this procedure object uh, calls a dispatch function which takes one of two inputs, a withdraw or a deposit. This calls one of these following two subfunctions, the withdraw and deposit, which take an amount as input. And then update the, the balance that you currently have in your account. So specifically today we will be talking about defining ACC as make account of 50 and we will be tracing the function ACC uh, that, which takes the input deposit on the number 40. Now let's put our code into action. So here we have the make account code in front of us. So first let's define ACC as make account on 50. So if we do this right we shouldn't actually see any output because make account is just returning a procedure object and we're just setting ACC to that procedure object. Uh, the only thing it should be doing is giving uh, ACC a space in memory with a balance of 50. Alright, so nothing happened and that's good. So now if we call the second function ACC deposit on 40, something should happen. So we get the number 90. So a simple th trace through of our program shows that when we call make account, uh, we are actually calling this dispatch procedure here through this line of code right here. So dispatch takes a message as input, and in our case it can be either one of two messages. So in this case we use the message deposit. So when we call deposit inside dispatch, we're actually returning another procedure that takes a, a, a parameter of amount. And in this case, the other procedure we're returning is shown here, and the parameter we're taking is here. So now let's actually draw out our entire environment diagram for the make account problem. So like always, we start with our global frame. And this is our global frame. So in our global frame, we only have two things defined. The first of which is our procedure make account. The second thing we have defined is our actual instance of make account, ACC, which is basically make account, uh, which is basically make account with a balance of 50. So first, let's talk about make account. So because make account is a procedure, we need a procedure object, which is demonstrated by the procedure object that I'm drawing here. So make account points to this procedure object. The right side of it points back to the frame it was defined in, and the left side of it points to the parameter and body of the procedure. So the parameters that make account takes is simple. It's a single balance. However, the actual body is more complicated. In make account, the body is uh, made up of three defines for withdraw, deposit, and dispatch. Alright, so because the body is made up of three defines, we need another frame to actually fully evaluate this. So this new frame will be our make account frame. And it will point to our global environment. And because uh, we're calling ACC as make account of 50, the balance will be 50. And we will be defining three new procedures, withdraw, deposit, and dispatch. So when we actually call ACC, we actually don't get anything returned. It's a procedure. 
And the actual procedure that ACC returns is this dispatch procedure, because it ha first needs to get called on a message, which in our case is deposit, and then it does, and then it get, and then that function, the deposit function that is now that it now becomes, gets called on another number. So we actually we now know that ACC basically needs to point to the procedure object that defines dispatch. So dispatch. So now let's talk about dispatch. So dispatch is also a procedure object. The right side points to this, and the left points to the parameters it takes. And because ACC is this procedure object, we can just draw an arrow from ACC to this procedure. So the parameters that dispatch takes is very simple. It's a single message, M. And the body is a simple cont. So now if we draw a frame for dispatch, It points back to make account, and it has a message. In our case, we're calling ACC on deposit, so our message will be deposit. So now, from here, we can't really do anything because we actually know that since calling ACC on deposit returns another procedure, the deposit procedure. We need to define deposit first. So when we make, so when we draw the procedure object for deposit we get something that looks very similar. We get our procedure object, right points to the frame it was defined in, and the left points to the uh, parameters. So our parameter for deposit is very simple. It's a amount. And the body for deposit is a simple if statement. And now we draw another frame for deposit. So we are calling deposit on the amount 50, on the amount 40. So amount in our case is going to be 40. This is our deposit frame, by the way. And it too points back to our make account frame. So in the actual deposit code, you see a set operator, a set bang operator, which basically sets the new the balance to the uh, balance plus the amount. So basically, when we call deposit we are essentially returning uh, we are essentially updating this balance value so now let's trace through it so when we define make account we are pointing to this dispatch procedure and when we define this dispatch procedure we are calling it on the message deposit now this message deposit points to this procedure object for deposit and when we call deposit and when we call make account uh, ACC uh, deposit on the amount 40 we are updating the balance here to the number 90. And then it points back to the global environment and gets returned as 90. So this is basically a simple environment diagram for the make account problem. Uh, if you want to go more in depth, feel free to try an example with withdraw on, uh, on any number you want. And feel free to uh, mess around with it. In a later video, I uh, will be talking about the make joint account problem and drawing environment diagrams for more complicated things like that. Thank you, and see you next time.